darn you, sister. Darn you and your wonky mouth. What, look what you're making me do here. Hello there, happy, hopefully happy simmers. I am going to attempt to make my sister in The Sims 4 create a sim demo. This will be about an eight hour long process as my sister is vain and I've literally had to go through hundreds of her Facebook pictures to find two decent ones that I could use to model her from. Um, quick, before I get into that, I'm going to show you my sim self that I made. Uh, we'll just kind of forget about the boyfriend here because, you know, I'm talking about my sim self. Uh, I made this one. I think it took me two hours. I, I can't believe like how detailed you can get with this new creative sim, which is awesome, you know, because a lot of people were complaining that it was so cartoony and they wanted a more realistic approach. But I think that this is pretty realistic. Um, if you give me a second, I will go ahead and throw up a picture here from uh, from my sim to my real self so you can kind of see a comparison. So here's my face. My face is pretty hard to do, but I think I did a decent job. So uh, slowly, I'm gonna bring this over here uh, so that you can see just like a cropped photo of my face. Um, so you can kind of see how I did that. But it literally took me forever. And I had to take a front picture, a profile picture, and like a three quarters picture. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job. Like there's my sim, all my freckles, my silly little other freckles on my face. Um, and then there's me. And glasses aren't quite the same, but you know, they never really have all that stuff in the game. Can never quite replicate everything. Um, so I'm going to now get out of this. I actually, yeah, we'll just start over. Yeah, we want to start a new household um, because I've already saved her. So, you know, it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, you can always go back in to your Sims once they're saved because they're in your gallery. You know, like with Sims 3, once you made your Sim, you were pretty much stuck. Um, you couldn't really go back and edit them, but I can just keep opening up my gallery, going back and editing them, uh, which is great. So what I do first is I do the body. Um, <laughs> my sister, well, let's make her a female first, and I'll just give her her first name. You might have been paying attention, might not have been paying attention, uh, but we have the same last name, so I'll just name her Keisha. It's my sister. I'm not going to worry about the traits or anything yet because making her physically is gonna you know be the most so I hope there's no one uh, squeamish here I'm gonna take all of her clothes off pardon there should have been a five-second warning but um it's okay they're they've got underwear on oh yeah I need to take her hair off too uh, the one thing I don't really like is um, having to well we might get into this but the accessories having to when you have to remove things you need to be in the face to remove um, things like necklaces and when I was making my sim I could not get rid of this necklace it was killing me when you're out here in the body and you're you know um, maneuvering the body options the accessories do not include anything up here it is all body related which does make sense but I feel like you know the accessories category should have just you know encompassed all of the accessories even the earrings and the necklaces and stuff because it just makes it so much easier than have to keep clicking back and forth and back and forth just to get you know those couple of accessories so we're gonna start with the body uh, my sister is a little darker than me, uh, <laughs> so I can't just, uh, I tried to cheat and see what the creative sim would do to uh, a, a sibling of mine, but it doesn't know our genetics, so it can't really replicate that. Let's see, that's a nice dark, she's a light tan brown, um, 
let me see which one would look better. That one. Is she? She's not that warm. <laughs> she's so cold. Um, so this is a good color for her. And we'll do the face after. Uh, I just want to get the body done really quickly. I don't think I need to change your feet. Maybe make them a tiny bit bigger if I wanted to be like, you know, really all up in there. She is not that skinny. But I don't want to make her super we can start with what's the difference oh look they got one that's already got some big boobies there going on uh, <laughs> I mean I always play with these anyway so who cares um, we'll start with that one so she had several children so her waist is not that slim and her hips are good um, it's a really great system, though. Um, I love the 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 touch aspect where you 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 want to move the arms. You know, you just slide your sim over, you grab the arm, and you go left or you go right. You make it skinnier, you make it go wider. Um, and you know, there's limitations. You can't make it too crazy, but it's enough that you can actually you know replicate people and if you had a skinnier sim or maybe a larger sim you know their arms would be much much bigger or much much skinnier but my my sister's average oh but ho ho her butt is not that big oh no let's see what how big is her butt move that arm sim your waving is just blocking me from making her butt yeah, she's got like a normal size um uh, normal size t flat butt sorry sister i hope you're not listening um thighs I don't really pay attention to her thighs but we're just gonna leave those actually did I even move anything oh I went the wrong way yeah we'll leave them like that her legs she's got little chicken legs <laughs> um, and uh, she does have a little bit of pudge on her she had a couple kids so we'll just slightly move the stomach out as for her posture I don't like the way that they give you know, we sometimes have this kind of bad posture, but ideally, we'd like good posture. I'll give her just a couple notches down from, from that excellent posture. And she's probably going to hate me, but uh, I know, let's see, let's, where her boobs are right now. Uh, uh, can we go a little? She's, no, uh, yeah, it's about right. You know. She's a little more well endowed than I am in that area. But I have a bigger butt, so it's all good. And they always say your hips should match your shoulders. I don't think I need to make her shoulders. I'm looking at pictures of her, which I'm, I'll show you her vain self afterwards. Uh, her shoulders will make them a little bit wider, just a smidge. I always get too worried. Like, I go, ah, her head's going to look so tiny. But we're just, yeah, it's about... Mm, yeah, uh, so that is pretty good uh, body start, and the body is always a little bit more easier uh, than the face, because the face is where you need to be in to the super, well, if you're making someone, then yeah, definitely. I'm going to click through some presets just to see if I can get a general shape for my sister's face. It's a little bit square, and this particular sim has a uh, I want to say it's a triangle yeah so a little pointy chin there uh, let's see if these have some oh that's cheeks I don't want that I want jaw uh, more of a square is it gonna do it I might have to move her chin just to see what I'm doing here it's all chin action all the time I can't even tell what the jaw looks like um, okay so a bit of a square jaw um, I'm gonna go back in there bit of a square jaw so what was that one this one's green uh, her chin yeah actually this one this one is pretty good and let's see if I can get some cheek presets although I might just do them myself because the presets are a good uh, starting ground but I'm always confused like I see the highlighted parts and I'm always like, whoa, what does that mean? Oh, I guess that's what that means. Undo that real quick. Actually, I think I should be okay with this this foundation. Uh, let me get rid of her little tiny dimple butt chin. She doesn't really have that. 
like I do. Well, actually, she has a tiny... No, it will be nice. We'll give her no butt chin. Ooh. May have to pull that chin down a little bit. Yeah, it's a little square in the bottom. Let's just click back. Undo. Undo. Alright, now let's see what the difference is. I saw some shading going on. Oh, the shading is, I guess, to help, you know, show the contours for those sims that have that kind of those those things going on. So let's pull her uh, this little side selfie she's got going on trying to be all cool. Uh, her cheeks are yeah, they high? Yeah, they're lower than that. And they're big. They're big. She's got big old apple cheeks. And I might want to lower them actually just a tad bit down. I am looking at these pictures and I guess I should show the picture to you in the side so we can get like a visual but I'm I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared of what it'll look like before I finish so we might hold off. I feel like her face is just a bit wider so I'm actually gonna click on her forehead. It's so much easier when they're bald. When they have hair it kind of gets in the way. Um, I don't make your head bigger, of what you're trying to click on. So, easiest is just to get rid of everything. Yeah, and get, make sure she doesn't have big booby, big, you know, clown ears. Move those down. You can rotate the ears and stuff, but you get in the detailed mode for that. So just size them down a little bit. Her jaw, can I, yeah, I can pull it out. I sometimes forget what I can do in this game in the demo while I'm making the sims because I'll I'll get on and I'll play and then I'll make my sim and it's so it's so time consuming sometimes that oh whoa what is that we gotta rotate here actually I'm gonna click some noses and see if I can get some presets our noses are a bit odd so it's always a challenge to recreate our noses um, and I'm going to be tweaking them a little bit, but I'm trying to get some, uh, nah, I might be able to do with this, make it a little bit bigger, ugh, the rotate, I, and I, the one thing too, I do wish if you could just, you know, mouse wheel in to the most, you know, the closest position, which would bring you into detail edit mode, because there's a lot of back and forth clicking that you have to do, and sometimes, it's not always the easiest. You can click on the nostrils a bit, move them uh, in or out. I wish you could kind of make the nostrils um, not so much wider vertically, wider horizontally, but wider vertically. Um, like if I were to grab this and move it, but it just moves the whole nostril, so I'll kind of have to deal with that. I need to make this part a little bit wider up here. Yeah. Her nose isn't going to be perfect. I mean, we can't really. It's a simulation, you know. What what can you do? So, I'll worry about her eyes later in this eyebrow. So let's get the mouth. Get back out of detail. Click the mouth. I need a good My Sister Mouth preset. And the problem with this is she's always making the duck face. So I have to look behind what's beneath the duck face. Um, let's try this one. Uh, am I trying that one? Actually, I think I might be trying this one. I just need to go in and make her lips just a little bit different. Um, so well, this is nice. You can give her, uh, she has more of a natural smile to her lips than I do. Otherwise, I'd be grabbing the corners here and dragging them down into a frowny face, which she, which she doesn't have, have. She'll kill me if I do that to her face. Um, oh, yeah, grabbing this part. Bottom lip. I'm trying to find one where she's not smiling with a duck face all the time. And I might actually change this too depending on how the the point of the the Cupid's bow goes because some of the lip presets, you know, they're different. They're not all meant to 
make the same shapes when you play with them and actually yeah, hers is more of an over arc so I think I'm gonna get out of detail mode and go back and look at another mouth preset um, to try to get a better representation let me see how this one goes if I pinch it in a little bit it's still this is a bit flatter Hmm, I might have to find another mouth. Darn you, sister. Darn you and your wonky mouth. What? Look what you're making me do here. Find a sim preset with a wonky mouth. I shouldn't be complaining, though, because my mouth was really hard to do. It's not um, completely symmetrical, so one one side goes up while the other side has a slight down curve, so it's like, well, they don't make sims that have... <laughs> Uh, uh, unsymmetrical faces, so I guess I'll have to deal with that. What about this one? Hmm. 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 No. Uh, let's see. My sister, you look what you're doing to me. Bring this in. Can I bring it? Oh, that's right. You can make the mouth bigger unless you go into. I need a bigger, I need a more pronounced. She's killing me. She's killing me slowly. Um, so hard. I'm trying to get both. Uh, actually, wait, 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 wait. Maybe it's this one, and I just got to make it a bit wider. Come on, mouth. There we go. A bit wider. All right, now let's go into detail mode. She has, like, kind of a very sharp um, meeting space place. I don't know what that's called. If that's still, if I'm still using the Cupid's bow terminology here for that. Um, bring this in a little bit and down more. Is her lips, her bottom lips kind of big. Just kind of big, you know. Top lips are normal, but bring these corners up. The bottom lips kind of big. So what can I do with this? Okay, there we go. There we go. That's actually looking pretty good. Um, I don't think her chin goes out quite that much. So, whoa, yeah, Ugh, the jaw, yeah, sorry, no. <laughs> I'll just undo that because I don't know how far I went with that. Um, get out of detail mode real quick. Sometimes, and it's always like a back and forth, you know, you got to play with the chin positioning and you don't want them to have like a witch chin or anything, so. It's like a delicate back and forth. I need to give her a little bit more of a curve. You and her duck face. There we go. And okay, on to the eyes. And uh, I do agree. You know, I wish you could have both versions of the eyes, where you can get rid of the super um, mascara eye. You know, with the same version with a with no super mascara eye, but you really can't. It's, uh, oh, oh, just kidding. I don't want to do that. It's creepy. Um, <laughs> you have either, you know, they're all different. So she has a tiny little, that's not her eye. She has a tiny little, kind of like that, actually. A tiny little upper lid. You know, if, if I wanted to, but I just don't, I'd like that part to be part of my makeup, you know, not like forced eyelashes. And perhaps they will come up with a slider in the future um, for us grumpy mumpies. Uh, I always have to rotate the eyes up a bit. Go into this. Actually, wait, I need to make them a bit bigger before I even do that. And move them a little bit further out. Okay. I wonder if this is actually, you know, it might not actually look like her till she gets some makeup on because that's my sister. So, let's see how we can do more open, less open, no, our eyes are like that. I don't need to change the pupil size or anything because that's the standard. Um, do we need to change the curve of her upper eye? It's more, there we go. Okay. I wonder if her cheeks are pronounced enough. I feel like 
this this apple of her cheek is so kind of big, but I don't want to make it creepy. I'm like, oh my god, she's going to kill us with her cheekbones. Okay. And now, for the eyebrows. My sister, what kind of eyebrows do you have, my sister? Are those good enough? Let's see here. They're not so arched. They're kind of just like a little happy upside down smiley face. And sometimes they don't have all of the... Actually, I wonder if I can just grab that part and make it better. No, and you can only go so far down. Like I can't rotate the outside corners. I can only rotate the inside corners to make it more, you know, more evil or way up there. No evil. That's her true nature, but her eyebrows don't look like that, so I I can't play too much. Go in a bit further. Yes, connect now. You don't have a unibrow, my sister, so don't worry, I won't give you one. Um I'm wondering if I need to move her I don't know what this like snot catcher is supposed to be called, but I feel like it's so big in the Sims and maybe that's due to the mouth option that I picked. I think I need to, uh, yeah, um, oh, skinny neck, oh, my sister's a bobblehead, super fat neck, just kidding, I'm having too much fun with that, eyebrows, oh, wait, if there's more of a, the end of her eyebrows is more bleh, oh, no, that's like, the eyebrow death right there, what about, oh, that's the unibrow, never mind, <laughs> we'll stick with this, it's not too bad, Okay, so I'm thinking it's pretty good so far. It's really hard to tell because she takes those duck face selfies, like I said, so you always have to like keep that in mind. Um, maybe just check her nose. Her nose sh maybe shouldn't be pushed out that far. She's not got a, you know, hugely long nose. I think that's good. And her body was still, yes. Yes, my sister without makeup and hair. She's coming together. Finally. Maybe move her. Make her smile a bit more because she's always duck. Oh, darn you. She's always duck facing. And there's one thing which I wish you could do much more with the upper lip with this, but you can push it out. It's not really like a making it super bigger and pouty. It, it kind of has this weird... Um, outcome the bottom lip too like you're just pushing their jaw out they kind of have a weird effect not so much a, a pout but you can move this back and I think that changes the the crease of their mouth when you do that oh, no, I don't want to do that Darn it. or if it makes it more pouty see I think who knows who really knows I don't even think the sim knows. Actually, I think I need to go back in here and make this a bit taller. Can I just make that a bit taller? A taller. Yeah, I mean bigger. Kind of. There we go. Yeah. I was doing okay before. So, now... We can kind of get into the hair. And the hair also really makes a sim. I mean, you look a lot different when you don't have hair on. When you're just bald, you know, it's really kind of hard to tell. Hey, I know that I know that chick. Wait, no, I don't. So let's go pick her hair. And my hair is curly hair um, by default. But this, this game doesn't really have a nice curly hair style. I don't think it has any curly hair styles. So unfortunately, bleh, I didn't mean to do that. We can't give her curly hair, but she does straighten her hair. And her hair is darker, but I, I want to see the, um, whatever the little not individual hair. I wish these changed too, but they don't. The not individual hairs, but I want to see what they look like in a lighter color so that I can, when it's black, you kind of lose some stuff sometimes, so. 
her hair would actually be about this color, uh, in between this color and, and black, but we can't always have it our way, can we? She has had her hair like this before, but she prefers, I don't think there will be a hairstyle for her. She prefers that part. Mm, no. She does not have bangs either. Uh, she has had her hair like that, but I wish you could flip it because, you know, the part is on the wrong side of the head. Maybe like that? Yeah? Yeah? Maybe? And just for reference, just to see how okay I'm doing. I guess I'll just slide this picture in ever so casually. Oh, my sister! She does have tattoos, and I'm going to see what I can do with her tattoos in the game because they're a little bit limited right now in the demo. But there's my sister with her little square face off to the side, so I'm going to... Maybe her face needs to be wider. Nah. So, I'm still looking for this nice hair. No. I did long because... Although, like, I've seen all the other hairs, the short and the medium. She doesn't have short and medium hair, so what would be the point? I might end up going with this one. Their hair's not that vol voluminous. Yeah. Although it might fit her face. No. Stop it. Don't even go there. We'll go with this one. And while I'm here, we'll just do tattoos, too. Click on the body. Body. Tattoos. Maybe I should make her darker, because she's, like, a bit... Maybe that's what it is. Need to make her a bit darker. She looks kind of... Wait, wait. She's not that dark. Well, yeah, well, yeah, okay, I, I'm growing on that color. So, back to tattoos. She has, like, all kinds of tattoos because she's crazy, and she gets... I mean, a lot of her tattoos are for her children's sake. I'm gonna just pretend. Um, I can't even see that. Where's the birds one? She has birds. Now, the problem right now is you can't layer them. In The Sims 3, you could layer them, so I could have this tattoo, and I could layer it with another tattoo in the same spot, but on here, you can't, so... She has birds somewhere on her body, so I will just stick to those birds for when she's sleeping, I'm assuming, and you'll be able to see them. Or when her hot mama looks. So we're going to go back to the face, because I'm going to put on some makeup. And this will be, you have to select the makeup for each of the different outfits. So I suggest you just do them all here, unless you, you want to go into and see each individual outfit first, but my sister's pretty easy, so I give her a nice, simple eyeliner, but not that one. Maybe that one. She does a little cat eye every now and then. That's a little bit too thick. Eh. Meh. Thicker, thinner. We'll do this one. It's nice. Um, colors... My sister's not really into the colors like that. And black. Eyes. Let's see what she got recently. It was brown and she got purple also. For everyday look, though, we'll probably do the nice brown. But these are the different, like, they cover different areas. This has some under area. This is super smudgy. This is just like more like party, like woo glam. Um, actually, that one's not too decent. Is there a good brown one in that one? Yeah, that's nice. It's like a little light shimmer thing going to it. And some lips. She likes to wear lip gloss. So let's see what kind. Inner one. Uh, uh. All right. I think I might need to change your face though. She's kind of not like looking like my sister. Darn you, Sim. You look less like my sister. It's the lips. I knew it. It's the lips. I need to fix the lips. 
You've ruined me, Sims. Ruined me. Because there's no... In I need to find a good in-between. A good, happy in-between. Did I do this one already? I think I did. But let's see if I can tweak it up. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I sneezed. I was trying to hold it in, but I couldn't. Let's drag this in. Wait. Get rid of her. No, not accessories, makeup. Get rid of her lipstick. So I can see if I can. Just, uh. How her lips look. Because with the makeup, it makes it so much more, you know, difficult to see what your. The fine details. Um, pardon my sniffling. My allergies were killing me. Whoa. Oh, wait, that might... That might work. I need to make her mouth a little bit wider, though, but that might work. Click in the detail mode. Um, <laughs> sorry. Ah, too much clicking. All right, let me see. Yes, laugh for me, Sim. Laugh for me. We'll stick with that. I mean, her lips are kind of like that. It's just... You're going to get into this the same way I am, and it's probably going to kill you. Back to the lip gloss. The lip gloss, I say. What do you like, Sim sister? Not red. That's too dark for you. What did you have? Well, that's way too orange for you. For every day? Oh, that's nice. Okay, we'll stick with that. This is also the other photo that I'm trying to copy from. Uh, dragging it in. Look at her trying to be all sexy. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think I need to pull this down a bit. Slide that in. Slide that in. Wait, let's change her jaw. Oh, I'm always doing things. Yeah, I had to make her. Yep, I had to make her bottom face a little bit. In. But this this part is still, you know, this weird people with their weird faces, and my sister is one of them. I'm scared to change these presets, though they scare me. Whoa. No, that's. Excuse me, that's not my sister. That is not my sister. I think I'm like actually making her prettier in the game than she is in. Oh, that was a burn. Okay. What about like that? Wait, what's the difference? Undo, redo. Undo, redo. Maybe I just bring this down a little bit. Wait. Undo, undo, redo, redo. I don't like the way they blacked her lip. It's all like droopy. Why does she have to have a droopy lip? I hope she's not kissing anyone with her droopy lip. Oh, so droopy. No, she's like, no. I think I should go with mine. I'm never satisfied. I'll just move it up a bit. 
never satisfied. Don't ever make Sims. Don't never be satisfied. Yeah, it's like looking less like my sister. I'll just come out and say it. We're we're mixed. She's looking less like her black self and more like her white self. I need to get her back into her black self. Just kidding, I should edit that out now. <laughs> but I I mean there are presets too, but my sister you know, like we're we're weird, so we don't really fit into a preset. But I need to somehow do something about her cheeks. I need like some contours. No. She's got big old cheeks like that. I need Hmm. No, maybe it was the lips. I think it's still the lips. They're throwing me off. I know you're like, oh my gosh, please shut up. <laughs> no. Maybe if I just modify one of these. I wonder if I can give her. No, I need that dip in there. I need the dip. Is that what I already had? Because I'm thinking. I'm just going to like say forget it. It's this top part I can't get. It, it. We have like. I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe like that, and then just change her bottom lip. Make her smile. Smile, I said. Smile. No, that does not look like her. No, okay, it's, it's, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Darn you and your weird coloring. What was it doing? Oh yeah, makeup. Ha! Okay. We're gonna try it. And I might as well just do the makeup for the rest of your outfit. So ha ha. Formal. Whoa, look it's creepy sister. No, I need one with the purple. Get that purple, yo. No. Wait, what about this one? 
There's no purple. I need a purple. She will look like a clown until I can get her. That's a little too bright. She must have deep purple. <gasps> I'm going to give up. What one was I clicking? Oh my god, that is so creepy. I'm never using that. Oh my god, it's just it's just creepy. Oh, is this all the makeup? No wonder. No wonder I'm creeping myself out right now. Because I have everything clicked and I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. There was no purple, which saddened me. This is like way too intense. What the heck color is... Uh, they do... They. It'd be nice if they brought back the opacity slider, at least. Stick with brown, because I, could, I can't help you otherwise. Lips. Let's go with something a little darker. No. For the love of the love of God, no. No. Alright. Let's give her a little cheek. A little cheekity cheek. There we go. Oh, look at her makeup. She's looking stunning. I'm not even caring about earrings right now because maybe I should change her hair. Because earrings are just black. No. She looks like my friend Julia. Oh, that must be medium hair. She doesn't have bangs. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, it's my sister, guys. Just kidding. My sister, sister. She, like, wishes her hair was that big and had all that volume. That's just creepy looking. I already clicked that, didn't I? Where's this one? Let's give her some straight old hair. Some just straight on. I wish I could change the part, though. You know, for all of us goofy people who have parts other places in our hair. Taha, you're not that fabulous, my sister. Actually, I will keep it that. And make up again. S athletic. Yeah, okay, no makeup for athletic. You don't need to look good. You don't need makeup either when you're sleeping. Party makeup! Alright, you know what? Let's get crazy with this party makeup. Maybe. I always like lip gloss better than lipstick. Like the sheen. I'll give you orange, cause you like told me one time you wanted orange lip gloss, and I was like, ew. But okay. Is it purple? Oh, that's right. The purple's weird. The purple scares me. What about this creepy one? What about the purple on hair? It's so creepy. It'd be nice if you could layer makeup too. That'd be really nice. Oh, oh, one, one moment. Oh, one moment is over. You have no idea what just happened. Anyhow, yes, you cannot layer makeup. Maybe that will be something they will add in later, but I am taking up so much time. We'll just give her some... Okay, yes. <laughs> no, wait. This is supposed to be brown? Uh, okay, I guess it's brown <laughs> in, in a way. Um... We'll give her some pink. So I'm just going to give her just one outfit so that I'm not completely um, destroying your brain cells right now. Um, I have looked through the styled looks and to me, I, I hope in the, in the full version that there's a lot more um, added in here. And I don't like 
I, I've put some on, but if you don't like them, then you've got to remove all the extra stuff. Like in this one, you've just got the hat, so you've got to, you know, remove the hat from that, or the glasses or whatever, um, the bloomers. But, so, I'm thinking there's going to be more of these styles, and for now, I'm just going into every day. You can also take the filter off by clicking it, and that way it'll show you every single option available, because you can you know, wear something that says it's every day, but for formal, or wear something that says it's party, but for, um, you know, athletic if you really wanted to. So it is open. You've just got to take off the filter items to see everything all at once. So here we see, like, we've got the um, athletic in the front, and then the party. Um, in the middle, some sleepwear. Okay, that is a very naughty picture right there. I just need some everyday clothes that my sister might wear. Eh, anyway, so. <laughs> um, dresses. She wears dresses? Yeah, she does. But this is, let's see, all full body. Would this be my sister? Her boobs look kind of crazy big, though. And the thing is, too, also, like, when you... I'll take it off. When you're making them and they're mostly naked, things look a little bit differently. And depending on the clothes that you're wearing, I think it's also true. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> My allergies are horrible. Like, their boobs don't look so crazy in this outfit. In this outfit, they look way bigger. And I don't... I haven't figured out why that is. Um, maybe it's just the, the way the clothing is supposed to fall on the body. It's always kind of making me like think, hey, maybe I should readjust <laughs> what, you know, what's going on here. I wonder if there's just a top, uh, I wonder, I like I haven't done this before. I can just get a, oops, a tank top. Sorry, that's gross. Um. Like a spaghetti strap. I don't think there's actually spaghetti strap in the demo. There might be one in the full game. Um, what would my sister wear? She's a little bit more fancy than I am. Actually, I'm going to put her in that. I'm going to keep this dress. And I think it's in accessories. Yes, the leggings. You can pair leggings with clothing now. you got to have to get used to where everything is. Um. It's not too bad for the most part. The categories are, are good, but you just have to remember that leggings are like socks. They're an accessory um, to what the sim is wearing. So I'm just going to click through these. I think these are thicker leggings. I kind of wish they had the name of what it, of what it was over top of it just to be sure that I was giving her the right thing. Um, and I think these are pantyhose. These are fishnets. Oh, these are striped pantyhose. And these are like yoga pants, I want to say. Um, I think I, I do think these are like the wool, full-on bottom socks. Maybe these. Maybe I'll give her these. No, let's try the wool. Let's try the wool. What color? And I do want to say one other thing, too. I, I do fall victim of this, where I try to match the colors exactly. Like, oh, this is a pink dress. Let me find some matching pink tights. Oh, my gosh, they don't match. But I realized in real life... You shouldn't match your clothes the exact same color. You shouldn't have this color of pink sweater dress with the same exact color of pink leggings. Um, it's preferable if you if you want to keep the color family like similar, but have them different shades or tints, so that your whole outfit isn't this one big bland blob of pink, you know, you've got different variations going on. So we just maybe have to get into that mindset that not every single thing they're wearing should be the exact same shade. And I understand though for like shoes, oh no, not socks. Let's see if we can get some cute shoes that might be the same color as this top before I go and, you know, 
rage over what I just said. I don't even think she'd wear those shoes. Alright, so we have red, we have the two-tone colors. Like, yeah, like this This pretty much matches. The shoes here pretty much match her, her top. So I'm thinking as long as you can, you know, you got the the one um different shade of pink, but the the main outfit and the shoes match. So I wish there was something more like what she actually wears in here but good luck with that um, maybe a different shoe though for my sister maybe I'll give her a boot these are some crazy boots though like I don't think she's a cowboy wearing person or these are like yeah like the dark fetishy type of boots and these are snowman boots like I really don't these are go-go boot, uh, no, no more boots, wedges, what about these, click it, um, eh, eh, I don't know if I like those, that's kind of no, uh, flats, could she wear flats, but I don't want to mix that red with the pink, and that mean I'd have to give her black, she doesn't wear flats like that. Sandals? Ha ha ha, don't wear socks with sandals, that's gross. Uh, these shoes, here we go, there we go. So what color? Dark red, that's too much. It's too much. Uh, we'll just go with black. You know, we, we do kind of run into the not matching thing, but I feel like pink whatever these kinds of shoes are would just be not good so I would have to actually talk to my sister to figure out her traits but I can at least pick her voice maybe if they had an evil voice I could pick that because she's definitely not sweet Ugh, no. I guess that would be close enough. My sister's kind of a dork, though. Let me just pretend like I knew what she was personality-wise, even though she's my sister. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hot-headed. Puh. Yes, that would totally describe her. Sims tend to be angry, can rile up other Sims, and become angry when targeted with mischief. That is totally my sister right there, but... I should be nice and like not be that. Let's see what happens when she picks hot headed. Oh, ha ha ha. Look at her rage. She's raging. Um, so then it automatically gets rid of cheerful and gloomy because apparently you can't be a hot headed, gloomy, hot mess. They need to have like obsessive hoarder in here too. That would be a, a good hobby for her to have a hoarder. Um. <laughs> Oh, wow. And, you know, I've done these before. And this is a little bit less traits um, and the to start off with. But the base games are like that. You you start off with um, a certain number and then you add on with expansion packs. She is family-oriented, though. She has a huge family. She's, like, crazy. Mean. I should pick mean. She's a mean little sim become happy when being mean or mischievous. She's a little bit better now, though. She's not a horrible uh, sibling. Materialistic. She doesn't have money, though, but she is kind of materialistic. She likes to buy jewelry. I should just pick that. A hot-headed, family-oriented, materialistic person. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, making it rain over here. Um... And the, the aspirations are interesting, although it would be nice if there were a few more because I feel like you've got to cram everyone into one of these. Even though some of them, like the popularity, have three different um, things, the, the food has two. You can be a basically a bartender or a chef. I mean, I feel like there are more things that <laughs> do with food. Um, 
Maybe just pick family. Uh, have a family that succeeds in life? No. Big, happy family. Here you go. Sim wants to build a large, loving household, which is pretty much my sister. She's a baby maker. So, um, here is... We're not even going to get into the, the styled walks. My sister doesn't need to walk special. It'd be funny, though. Ha, 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 I'm tough. Ugh, it'd be more like her when she wakes up in the morning. Definitely not bouncy. That's like weird. Swagger. She has no swagger. She's not now. Anyways, default walk for her. When uh, the game comes out, I'll be able to create her millions of children. Millions of children in the game. But so far, okay. Um, I'm going to save her. I'm not going to upload her yet because, like I said, when, I, when the full game comes out, I need to be able to add her other family members. But so in comparison, um, I'll bring up both pictures to uh, to just kind of do my test again. So here's one picture of her and the other picture. So I think I did a fairly decent job. I mean, I feel like my sim self was a lot better. But I took several pictures of my own just to make my face. And I just, you know, stole these from my sister's Facebook. So, um, I hope that you feel that I did a good job as well. And um, if I have a wonderful career in uh, sim selfing, maybe, you know, I can be famous Sims 4 create a sim creator. Oh, that's right. She has beauty marks. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. But she does. But she does. Face, skin details. Is that, is that, is that? No, I feel like she doesn't have one on her lip. No, remove that. I should be like, ha, huh, no. No, more so I should be like, ha, huh, wrinkles. No. No. We'll give her. We'll give her the one. She's got more freckles like me, but you don't always want to blow up your face with wrinkles in The Sims because it's either it's either f oh the cute little speckling or the oh my gosh all over your face. Um, but so okay, there's my Sim sister, and she might be a townie. Uh, you can make your own townies, and you can just populate your world with the Sims that you want to be in there. And then you don't have to worry about, oh, I, you know, if I make myself, I, I can't interact with my sister because I'd have to play her household. Nope, just make her, import her, and boom, talk to her when she walks down the street to annoy you with her children. <laughs> but anyway, so I am, I hope you, you know, you didn't fall asleep or I didn't bore you to death with this. It's been a, it's been a little while, well over an hour, maybe a little under an hour, but, um, I had fun, and I'm sure you guys are going to have fun too, so if my sim could be cool and wave to you, bye. I'm just going to go ahead and save her. No, last name will be Babies. Keisha Babies, because she likes to have the babies. Save, and haha, -ha, Goofy, save to my library. I'm not uploading this yet. So thank you guys for uh, for watching this, and... I hope you have a happy sim day. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. These road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.